Hi, this is Tim Erden, author of Statistics in Plain English, and in this video I am going to demonstrate how you use SPSS to calculate a one sample t-test and then we will interpret the output or the results. So I've got an open data set here. Um, you can see the some of the numbers and this is a data set that I've collected from high school students and um, and when I first collected the data, the students, some half the students were in ninth grade and half the students were in eleventh grade. So I'm just going to look at the ninth graders here, and to do a one sample t-test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if my sample of ninth graders that I have differs from the larger population um, in their average on some variable. So for this, we're going to look at age. So here's how you do it: you go up to the Analyze menu in SPSS and you go to compare means and one of the options is a one sample t-test so I'll click on that and here are all of my variables in my data set <coughs> and I've already picked age so that's the variable variable that I'm going to look at and then I'll go to options and um, it gives me some choices about um, the confidence interval, uh, what level of confidence I want for my confidence interval, how to exclude missing cases, and so on. Okay, now I've got my variable and I have to compare it to a test value. I don't know what the actual population mean is going to be, um, or maybe I do. Um, I've got some information that says the population mean is something. Whatever it is, whatever I think the population mean is going to be, or whatever information I have about what the population mean actually is, I put it here where it says test value. And because these are ninth graders, um, I'm going to say, I bet the population of ninth graders have an average age of 15 years. So I'm going to compare my sample to this test value of 15, which is going to be my estimate of the population mean, and see if my sample mean differs from the population mean, from the hypothesized population mean. Now, um, ideally what you have is you know the population mean and you plug that value in here where it says test value and you compare your sample mean to it. But um, I don't have the actual population mean so I'm just gonna, um, just gonna put something in there as an estimate. And then you click OK and here's what, what you get. First, you get descriptive statistics. What's the sample size? What's the average for the sample? What's the standard deviation? What's the standard error of the mean? And I can see that in my sample, the average is actually 14.97, which is very close to 15. To get the standard error, um, we took the standard deviation and divided it by the square root of the sample size. And if you do that, you'll get a value of 0.036. So, um, if you need a refresher on how to calculate the standard error, you can um, look at the video that I created about how to calculate a standard error of the mean. This is just a standard error of, a, of the mean. And this is going to be the denominator of our t-test formula. So to calculate a one-sample t-test, um, what you do is you compare the difference between the sample mean and the population mean which is right here. Um, the difference was only negative 0.035, meaning that our hypothesized population mean is um, 0.035 years larger than our sample mean. Remember, in a one sample t-test, it's always the sample mean minus the population mean. So if the sample mean's smaller, <clears throat> it's gonna produce a negative value. And we take that and we divide it by the standard error of the mean that we found up here, we can see that those are almost identical. And we're going to get a t-value that's negative, that's almost exactly negative 1.00. It's very close to that, negative 0.975. And our degrees of freedom for one sample t-test is the Sample size, minus 1, so 924 minus 1 is 923. And this t-value with that degrees of freedom 
is not statistically significant. Remember, this sig two-tailed is the p-value. So the probability of getting a difference between the population mean and the sample mean this large by chance is about 0.33 or about 33% of the time. We'd expect to get a difference this large by chance. That's not a statistically significant difference if we're using an alpha level of 0.05. And we're going to conclude that our sample mean is not significantly different from our population mean. They are essentially statistically equal. Um, if we take a look over here at the 95% confidence interval for the difference between the means, we see that the difference between the population mean and the sample mean would be expected to be between negative 0.10 and positive 0.05. That confidence interval encompasses the value of zero, meaning no difference, and that's one more indication that there is no real meaningful difference between this sample mean and our hypothesized population mean. So that is how you conduct a one sample t-test on SPSS and that's how you interpret the output and I hope that's helpful.